In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how you change the way your track elements interact with each other. So I can turn off any of them by clicking these boxes, or I can click on Enable Selected Track Only. Now when they're checked, they're active. I'm going to click here on the main slide. Now I'll right click and I'll do enable selected track only and all the other boxes are unchecked. So the only thing I will see and relate to is this particular track. I can go ahead and play it and all I have is my river. If I want to right click again I can do enable all tracks and all the boxes are checked back on. The other thing I can do is if I'm working on one track and I have it the way I want it and want to make sure that I don't accidentally edit it or change it, either the video or the audio, or I don't accidentally um, trim it and cut it when I'm cutting another track, is I can click on the lock over here that will lock or unlock. And if you're working with a video track, we'll make this bigger here so you can see better. If you're working with a video track, the lock and unlock work separately. So if I want to lock the entire track, video and audio, I simply click on it. And it turns to a yellow gold color. And now I can't do anything with it. I can't move it. I can't split it. Um, uh, it's locked. It's safe. So I can edit everything else. You notice I split this track down here now and all these others. I'll do control Z to undo that, uh, but it did not touch this particular track. So that's a nice thing to remember if you want to lock something down while you're editing something else. And it will unlock the same way simply by clicking on it. Another tool that we have in, uh, in our window here is the opportunity to label the tracks. We've touched on this in another video, but I'd like to remind you of it. Right now, if I drag these five dots to the right, uh, it, right now it's, it has the great title of video track. And I could just call this uh, main video. And if, <laughs> if I get my key fingers on the right keys here, that's better, main video. And I could name this effect track. I could name this other video track. I could click on here backspace, call it PIP for picture in picture. And we can name all of the tracks in the project this way. So that gives me the opportunity to uh, label each of these. And again, I can move the bar back. The labels are still there. They're just not visible. If I want more real estate on my horizontal plane in my editing. So these are some of the things that you can do. Let me give you just one or two others. If I right click here, I can also uh, add tracks or I can click up here to this button and it will get me to the other option of how to add tracks. It asks how many and where. Now let's try to add a track. Let's say we want to add a track below track two and I want to add one video track and no audio track. So I'll reset that to zero and it's the same location. I click on OK and now you notice I have a track three now which just is a video only track. If I want to remove empty tracks, I right click, I click on remove empty tracks and track three disappeared because there was no content. So that's an easy way to simplify your project. Um, you can also mute any track uh, th that you want to. I'll take the river here and I'll turn it off and now it's effectively muted uh, because it, it was smart enough to understand that this was audio and video. It didn't turn both of these off. It just unchecked this box and now it's back to full audio on that track. Um, so that gives me an option and that works when you're basically in a track that does contain audio. Uh, if I try that on the effect track, I don't have that as an option, as you might expect. You can also move the content of a track somewhere else. I'm going to click on my PIP track here, right click, and I will move it. Uh, I can move it to, to above track one. It only gives me a couple of options. 
because I only have track 1 and 2. I can't move 2 to a 3 that doesn't exist. I'll click on OK. Now I effectively move this above. If I want to take this track and move it back to the first place, click on it, right click, move content to, and now we'll put it above track one. And now this is inverted. It's a lot easier than moving all this with the mouse. We hope you find this useful in changing how track elements interact with each other in CyberLink PowerDirector.